Good morning, folks. This morning we're working on the slat jig. Um, I've previously cut out all the ribs and all the materials for the slats. I think I've got them ready to assemble, but um, we're doing the jig today. Um, I'm going to make my jig out of leftover materials, part of this MDF that I have sitting around, and I'm just using up scrap, basically, because the jig is just that. It's just a disposable item. It's not going to matter as long as it, as long as the, the profiles are right, and it uh, does the job to, to get the, the four slats riveted together. Um, just taking a piece of hardboard, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I traced out the profile for the slats off of the plans. Um, I'm going to adhere that, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it out on the band saw. I'll smooth this out, and then I'll, I've got some plywood that I'm going to transfer this over to, and I'll just use this as a jig, use a flush trim bit, and I'll wrap out the, the uh, four profiles for the jig so they're all exactly the same. So we'll just spray that on so it sticks. And then we'll take it to the bandsaw and cut it out. Glue on both sides. I use 3M Super 77 for an adhesive. For transfers like this, you let them cure for a few minutes and glue them together. I'll go ahead and cut out the profile and the overall on uh, the rough shape of how I'm going to have the jig. And then I'll go back and cut the actual outside edges outside of the jig so I get it shaped the way I want it. And this is not exact, we just have to get it close. And that's not. There we go. We cut it out, we'll cut out this profile here. You notch out the corner so it's got room for your material in there so it contours the way it's supposed to. And after we get this cut out, I'll just bomb it off here. I'll go ahead and figure out what I want for angles. They don't give you real good specifications as to how that should be shaped, and I don't think it really matters as long as you've got a good stable surface. Um, so I'll figure that out once I get the rest of this cut. Okay, here's the cutout for the jig. It sets in there approximately like that. We'll go ahead and smooth out the contour, and then we'll finish fitting everything. Here we go. I like that contour. That matches up pretty well. Okay, well here's the layout for routing them. We'll go on there just about like that. adding this back piece so I got room to clamp it down a little bit better so it doesn't interfere quite as much with the router. I still have to move it about three times.
Well, we've got the slat jig pretty well laid out. Like I say, we're using uh, scrap materials. Normally when I do a jig like this, I will glue it together as well as screw it together. But this is actually a jig for a, a whole layout pattern for another thing I've got going, so I kind of want to save it. So I'm not going to glue this together, at least the first part of it. We'll just screw it together, do a quick and easy layout of it, and uh, see if it does what we want it to do here. Clamp these together. Well, right, there you are, folks. There is my rendition of the slat jig. So we will go ahead and 
move on to start laying out the slats. I think we've got all the parts for that. So that'll be the uh, next video. We'll consider that part one of the slats. So, thanks for taking the time to watch.